Woohoo! Outback Road Trip! You put dust covers on your vents and you hit the road. Before long, you realize how much bloody dust there is on this continent. And it seems that every speck finds its way into your trailer, no matter how much you've silly concealed every tiny gap. And even the old tape up the entire van with duct tape is only a partial solution. So we resort to science. Now this is not my original idea. It comes from a bunch of posts from the Jayco owner's Facebook page. The theory is that if we mount a snorkel on top of the van, we can collect clean air and force it into the van cavity, and the positive internal pressure will help keep the dust out. For this design, I considered what might happen if it rains while you're driving. Dust and water equals mud, and you don't want that in your van. Normal four-wheel drive snorkel heads rely on the water sticking to the inside of the snorkel and draining out eventually, and if any does reach the air filter, it will usually be blocked before getting into the engine. So for this design, I used a baffle system to ensure that water drops to the bottom of the snorkel inlet and drains out before it can enter the van. Since I was traveling when I put this in, I was limited to the tools and parts I had at my disposal. But I made do with whatever I had in my camper toolbox and what I could find at Bunnings and Reese's Plumbing. To test the water baffle design, I made a quick mock-up and tested it using water sprayed with air from my tire compressor to simulate rain. And not a single drop made it through to the absorbent paper at the other end. What is he doing? To make the baffles, I needed some flat pieces. PVC has a low melting point, so it was quite easy to soften and flatten out with a bit of heat. I cut the baffles slightly larger than the pipe, so there would be some material to grab when they were glued together. I then drilled a few holes at the bottom to allow water to drain out. It's important to allow air to enter and flow around the, the van cavity freely. So I lowered the roof and found a spot that was not blocked by beds or countertops. The roof material is just a few layers of ply, foam and a thin skin of aluminium on the outside. I didn't have a hole saw handy, so I just drilled out some holes and used a small hacksaw to cut a rough hole out. I then cleaned up the hole with a Stanley knife and a file and made sure that the PVC pipe would fit and there were no sharp edges. This was my bush workshop in the caravan park. Once I had cut all the pieces to size using a bit of the roof that I would cut out as reference, I did a dry run to ensure that it all fitted the way I wanted. I then cleaned up all the surfaces with methylated spirits and glued the outside collar on with adhesive sealant. I modified a metal downpipe bracket to suit mounting the horizontal section at the desired height and I screwed it and the collar in for extra strength. At the inlet I used a leaf filter to help keep bugs and stuff out while driving and while parked. And finally, I fitted another section of pipe to provide a bit more protection from the rain. You could also attach a wider scoop at this point to collect more air and generate higher internal pressure. Inside the van, I made sure the length of pipe protruding was just enough to fit the collar and a threaded section. And these were just pressure fitted, no gluing needed. Using the threaded section means that I can cap the outlet if I wanted. It also means that I could make a removable dust filter. For this I just used polyester filler from a $2 pillow and pushed a bunch of it up the pipe. 
You could use another leaf filler to keep it all in, but I chose to make a screwable lid just to look pretty. For this I marked out and carefully drilled a bunch of holes into a threaded end cap, so it ties in nicely with the rest of the parts. And that's it, job done! All I need to do now is test it. To see how it performed, I stuck strips of toilet paper on the vent outlet and attached a camera and lamp in front of it and set off for a drive. At around 70 km an hour, which is roughly what I'd be doing on an unsealed road, it is clear that there is a good flow of air coming through the system. On the track you can see that most of the dust goes past the van and not up into the snow. But when cars are coming towards you, some dust does get in. Most of it is trapped in the polyester filter, but I did try a normal snorkel sock to see if it made any difference. It didn't, and the sock got clogged very quickly, so I just went back to the polyester filter. And that's it! I now have a positive pressure snorkel that I'm happy with. Let me know if you found this useful on www.theshortandsharp.com.au